I guess welcome to Michigan for the people that haven't uh, been here before. Um, I am up in the northern part of Michigan. If we can, yeah, I guess we can see that. This kind of small print down here, but that's Detroit down here. Uh, I live up in the northern part of Michigan. It's a, a resort area where everybody comes to play, and I get to live here, and a uh, great place to live, and we love it here. So now we're ready to start measuring. All right, so we're going to use this, uh, this card to, as the long line is a tangent, the area that I'm going to work on, I have to have the card in the right angle of where the area I'm going to work on. Now I'm going to bring that angle over to the cutter and we're going to set the laser. Okay, so the laser here. We're going to set the laser so that there's a gap. That gap, let's set it about an eighth of an inch thick. That gap is going to be my wall thickness. That gap is my measuring device. That gap is now my caliper. That little caliper that's going to reach inside there and measure that. So that gap now is 90 degrees through the wall using the card to transfer it over to the cutter. So now we go inside there. We're no longer blind. We can see where we're at in there. We can see the depth and we can see the shape of the cut happening in there. And the, the laser gives us an early warning. When it gets elongated like that, whoa, it says slow down. I'm getting close. When the laser disappears, I stop. 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 So I'm just going into the waste wood from behind, pulling it on a diagonal towards my tummy. And every time the laser goes away, I stop and the gap is left behind. All right. So that was measure, 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 clean up the tool marks. Now I'm just going to take it with my fingertips. I'm just going to sweep across there. The laser's gone, so I don't have any visual cue anymore. I'm just going to clean up the tool marks. This is just like taking a pencil and writing a curved line on the piece of paper. Clean up the tool marks. Okay. Woo! That is cool. I'm good. I'm going to move on to the next stage. All right. Everything's perfect. If I've got something wrong in there, if I've got a tool mark in there, I've got to fix it now. I can't go down in the bottom and make the bottom thin and then come back out and fix the problem. I've got to fix it while I'm going and not, uh, not settle. So let's say I have a tool mark in there. Let's say I've got a bump, bumpity, bumpity tool mark. And I'm going to do it with the lathe off. I'm going to feel this surface back and forth. And I feel a little bump in there. And it gives me a little muscle memory. Now I'm going to turn the lathe on. And we're going to sweep across there listening for that little hiss. and clean up the tool marks, okay? Let's get rid of this, gonna stop, 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 stop. Clean up the tool marks. Did I say that already? Don't go back. If I didn't say it, I should have said it two or three times. Don't go back. This is thin. It's going to start to dry out. It's not going to get round anymore. It's going to start to flex and vibrate. I have to be happy with it before I move on to my next stage. Don't go back. All I'm doing is transitioning it in from stage to stage so that there's no tool marks and I never really go back out to that top again. All right. Now we're going to switch and go here. We need to set the laser now so that we can get in that bottom area or below the, 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 the detail there of the curve. And now look, the laser's in the wrong place. It's not on the line. So I'm going to move that back over so that the laser has a gap <coughs> about an eighth of an inch, maybe a little bit fatter than that. Not that fat. Let's move it over about here. There we go. About an eighth of an inch. It's on the line. So now I'm going to be an accurate measurement here. That gap's going to be 90 degrees to the wall when I when I do that surface. Okay. Tighten it up. Check it. All right. So now I'm going to get in behind here. Get rid of some of this waste wood.
Now I want to make the laser disappear right there. Make the laser disappear there. Stop. 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 Clean up two marks. So that's all there is. Measure, measure, measure. Clean up the two marks. Okay. Now what I did there is I measured that top part. And I measured the bottom part. But I didn't really measure that corner. Let's see what's going on with that corner. I'm going to feel this. I've got a little bit of a bump. I don't know if you can't really see it in the laser. But i got a little bit of a bump right in the corner. That I'm going to get before I move on. Right in here. Right there is where that corner is. Right. Got a little bit of a bump there. Transition that in. Clean up the tool marks. I'm just using my fingertips. Okay. Now I've got that undercut shoulder and all of that top done. Let's turn this around. Let's get this a little bit more straight. And now because I moved the swivel assembly, the laser's in the wrong place. We've got to redo the laser. I'm going to bring that up here again so that I have an eighth of an inch on the bottom part of that hollow form. All right. Now let's go in here. I'm going to go into the hole first or in that middle area. Hog some of that off first. When the laser disappears, stop, 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 stop. Okay, I'm not going to spend a lot of time cleaning up tool marks. But that's the idea. Measure, measure, measure. Clean up the tool marks and move on. Now we don't need the waste wood anymore. Push cut right in. Okay. Big diameter to small. Big diameter to small. Large diameter to small. Just a push cut, 45 degree slicing action. Now I slow my pace down, start to swing my handle, make a curved line. Tuck that bottom in. Kind of nice. So now that's where it's going to sit on the table. Let's go back and hollow. So that was stage one and two. Now I just did stage three to finish off the bottom stage. Now I can see the whole piece. I'd clean this up, shear scrape it. Even weight and sand this if, if I uh, was doing green wood. I can uh, just take a break a little bit after I get this hollowed and, and sand it before I take it off the lathe. I'm going to swivel this back out all, uh, pretty much straight parallel to the boring bar so that we're pointing right straight towards the headstock. And again because I moved that and I'm in a different position now I'm, I'm hollowing way down there in the bottom. And... The laser now is in the wrong, there we go, is in the wrong place, right? i got to move the laser again, and I've designed the laser to move fast and easy and accurate, so we can put it wherever we want it in just a couple seconds, right? Put that, so now that gap is 90 degrees through the wall, that gap's going to measure that accurately. So let's get in there now, we can see the where the laser is, is uh, just about where the tip of my tool is. We're going to even be more accurate later, but it shows me the where the inside is. There's my little drill hole is in there. Okay, let's get rid of some of the waste wood first. Now 
There you go. Now I'm down to the drill hole depth. Let's come over here where the laser is going to disappear. I think you can see it from that camera. Yep. Stop. 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 Okay, that's all measured. Clean up the tool marks, which I'm not going to stop and do very much, but transition it in. Okay, now I've done two things. The drill hole's gone, and the sidewall is done down pretty much the whole thing, except for just close to the foot. Okay, when those two things happen, I'm going to do two things completely different with the laser. All right, so one thing we're going to do is we're going to put it dead, dead, dead on the center line. If I'm cutting high, it's going to fight me. It's going to go bump, 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 and rattle around in there. If I'm cutting low, it's going to leave a cylinder here that never gets touched. So I got to get dead, dead on the center. All right, the other thing I'm going to do is reset the laser now right at the tip with no gap. Okay, we don't need a gap. I'm not measuring the sidewall anymore. I'm seeing how deep I am in that vessel. It's really cool. All right, so go back over to here. Let's set the laser with no gap. Right there. Okay. And now, how am I going to get on the center line? I'm going through a small hole there. I can't see. I can't uh, uh, take a flashlight or anything in there. So with the lathe off, I'm going to scratch a line across the bottom. Hopefully. Got a little bump in there. Now I take my flashlight and look. And I'm high as I thought I was. And I, it's intentional when I'm hollowing. I'm usually high. <laughs> so we're going to lower this down. And that's where my, my little threaded nut is handy. I'm going to go down about an eighth of an inch. That's about one rotation of that nut. All right. And I'm going to scratch another line. Interesting with this with this wood being so porous it's hard for me to see the scratch, but I think I'm on it. I've got a little remnants of a drill hole still left in there. Let's see if we can make what what's gonna happen if I'm dead on the center line, this wood's gonna melt away like butter. It'll just happen so fast and so easy. If I'm not, it's gonna fight me and I'll know it and I can readjust it. But I've got a little bit of a drill hole in there and that drill hole, of course, is, is not running true. It's wandering a little bit. So I've gotta clean up that drill hole first and then we'll, we'll see if I'm on center or not. Oh, it looks like I might have it. All right. Grab a pencil. All right. Now, let's see if I can find a place to write on. I know exactly if I can write, my pencil doesn't want to write on the wet wood. I know exactly where my cutter is in there. I know I'm about uh, oh, three eighths up from the bottom. And so I want to go a little bit deeper. And so now with a, the, the, the laser set with no gap, I can see exactly how deep I am. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back and forth across that little center. And I'm not pushing towards the headstock. I'm come here a little hiss. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Just gently. Okay. 
So now what I take three, four, five, three, four passes in here, and now look where I'm at. Ah, doesn't take much. If if we're on the center line, this is just melts away like butter. Easy peasy. All right. So now let's look at this. This is going across the bottom, what I just did, and this is up here, and then, and then it goes into my sidewall. I'm not going to cut up here. This is already done. This is already measured. We're not going to go up there. But I can see what's happening in the bottom now. Isn't this cool? I can see through the waste wood. I can see the shape. If I want to make it pointed, I could. If I want to make it flat, if I want to make it nice and rounded, I can do anything I want. I can just watch the laser. We won't be able to see the pencil lines now. So watch what's happening without the pencil line. I can see that's my bottom. There's my little hump. And it goes over to the side, right? So all I'm going to do is get rid of that hump. Take the little hump off. Get into the bottom. Back into the bottom. I'm not cutting in the bottom. I'm only cutting where that little high spot is. And now I'm going to transition it up into that sidewall without not hear the little hiss I don't want to cut up here that's all done so I'm just gonna feel that gently transition it in the sidewall let's go back to the center one more time take a nice sweeping arc got a little high spot right there all right let's see how we did there we go now we got her if you like the kind of teaching I do and the details that I get into, come back and see me again. Uh, do me a favor, if you will, and uh, talk about this on your Facebook page or to your club members. Put it in your newsletter that this stuff is available uh, for a real reasonable price. And even the vendor showcase, even free events that we do and uh, point them uh, in our direction. Uh, promote it on your social media, if you will, and uh, pass the good word that uh, we're doing the job up here. And we'll see you in a few weeks.